The Federal Aviation Administration is in the process of building new, similar systems that detect and alert controllers to the presence of microbursts and gust fronts. These systems are Low Level Wind Shear Alert System, or LLWAS, Weather System Processor, or WSP, and Integrated Terminal Weather System, ITWS. This course targets air traffic controllers and supervisors, providing information about weather complexities that lead to hazardous flying conditions and the systems that are used to detect them. Since the purpose of these systems is the same and the detection methods in use are similar, this course incorporated new research on the microburst and guest front phenomena, developed new lessons on the new equipment, and revised outdated displays and phraseology to the current standard. This CBI uses animated graphics to show hazardous weather patterns. Supporting audio, text, graphics, and video are integrated into the content. This screen uses an MPEG video to reenact an aircraft crash that was caused by a microburst. The student is able to watch the descent from outside of the aircraft and on the cockpit controls. Audio narrates the event. Pilot adjusts power to avoid overshooting the runway. This variation on a true-false question allows the student to practice identifying several characteristics of a downburst. This drag-and-drop question was created in Flash to test the student on the content from the previous slide. It provides immediate audio and text feedback. Correct. As the aircraft leaves the microburst, an increased tailwind is encountered. This screen teaches the students how to read the identifiers of the ribbon display terminal. The relevant line of the display moves forward, and the relevant identifier is highlighted as its purpose is discussed by the narrator. If the pilot cannot correct their flight path back to the glide slope, the aircraft... C-Squared Technologies Incorporated developed animations, produced audio, and programmed the storyboards into the final course, which provides six hours of CBI with 367 screens. The course was completed on time and within budget. It was awarded an Award of Excellence by the American Society of Training and Development's Central Oklahoma Chapter.